Skip scripture reading. 1 Corinthians 13. Love is very patient and kind, never jealous or envious, never boastful or proud. Love is never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable or touchy. Love does not hold grudges and will hardly notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you will be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them, always expect the best in them, and will always stand your ground in defending them. John 4, 7 to 12. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who love, loves is born of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. Let me uh, give you a quick and uh, share to you a quick exhortation before we proceed to our ceremony. Uh, Napakapalad po natin no, para i makarating dito ngayong hapon and uh, uh, napakapalad natin para ma-witness natin yung uh, 12 years na na kwento ni ni Lark saka ni Che no sa kanilang uh, relationship and uh, palagay ko lahat tayo excited no at sumisigaw finally ano <laughs> sa wakas ano so uh, let me just uh, uh, encourage you with uh, God's word uh, this afternoon and uh, remind you with uh, three important uh, points. No? First is that uh, marriage is designed by God and it is made in heaven. So uh, the first word is marriage. Ang sabi sa Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, The Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Hindi yung helper na helper. Ha? Ang, ang ibig sabihin daw ng salitang helper is to walk alongside. And yun eksakto yung nakita natin. Ano? And, um, and, and we see tears uh, this afternoon. No? Um, these are tears of joy na, na, and, and excitement. No? And um, there is only one vision for marriage. And God's vision for marriage is that two gifted people called by God to journey together to love and to serve each other and to love and to serve the Lord. If you still remember, the first miracle of Jesus happened. When was the first miracle? It didn't happen when He fed the 5,000. Hindi nangyari yung first miracle nung nagpalakad siya ng lumpo o yung blind nakakita. The first miracle happened was in a wedding like this. Sa dinami-dami ng, ng first display ng power ni Jesus, yung okasyon na pinili niya ay wedding na kamukha nito. And uh, I'm having goosebumps dahil uh, isang taon yung preparasyon ni, eh. Parang six months ago, walang makaakit sa Baguio eh. Di ba? Tapos uh, ang palapit ng palapit, nag-delta Diba? So, parang paano na, paano na, paano na. No? So, this is a reminder for Lark and Che na marriage is God's design and it is made in heaven. And you will always receive miracles from God. And uh, your second miracle, the first miracle is that nakapasok tayo lahat. It was impossible six months ago. No? And you know what's the second miracle? Uh, muulan kahapon, di ba? Nung lumakad si Che, eh, nakita ko dalawa yung araw. May maliwanag doon, tsaka may maliwanag dito. No? Uh, hindi pa man tayo nag exchange ng vows, hindi pa man binibigay yung blessing, you already receive a miracle. Why? Because every time God sees two different people, two beautiful, wonderful, gifted, talented, passionate people, decides to love each other, 
embrace each other, accept each other, give and forgive each other. You know what happens? Miracles happen. And this is exactly what we're experiencing right now. So that's marriage. The second point I would like to, you to remember is the word parenting. How many kids are you planning to have? <laughs> remember this. Parenting is a privilege and a blessing. No, uh, it's a blessing. Can you imagine? And sabi sa Bible, God created us according to His image. And sooner or later, that image of God will be in your womb. No, and and an an adult has seven trillion cells in his or her body. Kapag binaklas mo daw yung cells na yan, yung seven trillion cells na yan, ay that will be yung haba ng 7 trillion cells sa isang adult body ay 500,000 times from here to the moon back and forth. That is how wonderfully we were made. And sooner or later, you will have, ilan ba? Sampu, labing dalawa. No? And, and that is a privilege and that is a blessing. Not only that, it is also a privilege and a blessing because you, will, you guys will have an opportunity to disciple a child or your children you know, to help and to guide them to fulfill their dreams and purpose through you. So marriage is God's design made in heaven. Parenting is a privilege and a blessing at the same time. And then, remember these three words. Faith, hope, and love. There will be times that your faith will be low there will be times that your hope will run out. No, pag magbabayad na tayo ng mga bills, pagka nagkabiglaan sa mga desisyon, no, yung faith natin, masyashake yan. Yung hope natin, minsan bababayan. Pero ang sabi ni Paul, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest among all is love. As long as we continue to love each other and love the Lord, no, you can conquer and overcome everything. Yung alam nyo naman po, yung dalawa na to, mahilig sa road trip eh. eh isang araw, merong isang sikat na mekaniko dun sa isang bayan. Daladala niya yung kanyang uh, Ford uh, Mustang. The T-engine pa na Ford. Yung first ano, generation na Ford. Sumi nasira, tumirik. Ilang oras niya nang kinakalikot, hindi niya mapaandar. Hanggang may pumarada, the same color, the same make, the same model, sa harapan niya, may bumaba na isang matandang mama. Tapos sabi niya, gano'n, anong problema ng auto natin? Sabi niya, eh, isang oras ko na ginagawa, hindi ko mapaandar eh. Sabi niya, pwede bang silipin ko? Sinilip niya, pwede bang pihitin ko to? Pinihit niya, sabi niya, start mo ulit. Imposible yan, isang oras ko na ginagawa, ako pinakamagaling ng mekaniko sa lugar namin. Start mo lang. Ini-start niya in less than two minutes, tinignan lang, tsaka may pinihit lang, umandar. Yung sasakyan, gulat na gulat itong may habang na batang mekaniko. Sabi niya, how did you do that? Sabi niya, maraming maraming salamat. Ano nga po pala pangalan niyo? Ang sabi ng matanda, my name is Henry. My last name is Ford. I built and created that car. Faith, hope, and love. There will be times that you will face troubles and challenges and trials, what do we do? We go back to our mechanic. We go back to our maker. He designed and created this marriage, this wedding. So you go back to him. In just a few minutes, a few seconds, everything will be all right. So this afternoon, remember these three important reminders. Marriage, parenting, and then three words. Faith, hope, and love. I think you can remember that. It's MP3. May the Lord bless you and guide you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before we call Pastor Rex and help us with our ceremony, would you like to have the appreciation for the parents now? Kaya nyo, ha? Oh, mamaya na natin itutuloy yung iyak. Ha? Palagay ko, hindi nyo matutuloy yan. You know? Sige, patuloy tayo kay Pastor Rex. Pastor Rex, can you help us with the ceremony, please?
Kaya <clears throat> masyado pong mataas yung tuntungan ng paa. <laughs> Maganda yan para po nakikita ninyo ako. Okay? May I request the couple to stand? I ask you now, in the presence of God and these witnesses, to declare your intention to enter into holy matrimony. With one another, through the grace of Jesus Christ, who calls you into union with himself through salvation. Che. Will you have liked to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you comfort, love her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. I will. Will you have Che, Lark, to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you comfort, love her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. I charge you both, as you stand in God's presence, to remember that love and loyalty alone will serve as the foundations of a happy and enduring home. These solemn vows are kept permanently, steadfastly seek the will of God, and your lives together with the home you are to establish will be blessed, favored, and empowered. You may now be seated. Dear parents, continue and encourage them to love and help support and pray for each other. Continue to make them feel and know that you will always be there for both of them as your son and daughter. Pray and support for all their decision makings. May I request the parents to please stand? Okay. Okay. In the past, you have known Lark and Che as individual persons. Now they are joined together in matrimony. Please declare your blessings upon them as husband and wife. We pray. We pray. We pray. We pray. We pray. And bless you both. And bless you both. In Jesus' name. We are, we are assuring you of our continuing love, good wishes, and prayers. May I request the sponsors to stand? Punta po kayo dito sa harap. Mga sponsors. Punta po kayo sa harap. Okay, sa likuran po ng mag -asawa. Sponsors, you are here because Lark and Che look up to you. You have touched, blessed, and inspired their lives in many ways you may not know. Agree ho ba kayo doon? Today, you will make this connection an intentional relationship as their second parents. Timing ho ito kasi next month, Pasko na. Okay. Taking the responsibility to assist Lark and Che for their moral, financial, emotional, and spiritual needs. Will you take these responsibilities, continue to be a role model to them, and bless them always? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay. See, dating mayor. It is with great joy. It is with great joy to be part, to be part of, your lives, of your lives. And we bless you both. And we bless you both. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you for uh, Okay. <clears throat> 